Hello once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos. And today we're going to do a video on our new inverter, the Growat SB5000. Or is it the SL5000? Anyway, Growat refers to it as the Storage Plus. And this uh, inverter comes with a lithium battery that looks exactly like the inverter itself. With the lithium ba battery, it works very well. With our flooded batteries, we do have a challenge. There are limitations. So let's talk about the pluses or the positives, and then we'll talk about the negatives. The major plus is that it's very quiet. It doesn't make any noise when it's, when it's on. Whether it's charging using AC, or when you put a big load on it, there is no sound. And we've been able to run our two horsepower water pump and the freezer at the same time, and it did not make a sound. That's one of the big pluses. So its ability to handle surge loads are incredible. I mean, I, I, I have no complaints. The last one we had, which was the blue inverter, once you had a surge load on it, it would start to make noise. The, motor, the fans will come on and the fans were very, very noisy. This one is very quiet. Its uh, standby consumption or its consumption is also very, very low. Its conversion efficiency rate is very, very good. It's low as well. Um, it's done by energy usage, very, very good. So when it comes to the basics of what an inverter does, this does it very, very well. Now let's discuss the limitations. If you're running a Growat lithium battery, it's perfect. If you're running a gel battery, it is good. Well, it's not perfect, it's good, and we'll discuss that. If you're running flooded batteries like we do, as the inverter stands, it is a very poor choice for flooded batteries. Let's take them one at a time. One of the things we like to do for our batteries is the ability to set a hard shutdown or cutoff voltage for our batteries. We usually set it at 48 volts. This is a 48 volt inverter. As you can see, all our, all our batteries are wired in series. So our positive is here and our negative is there and everything is, everything is connected in series. We set our cutoff at 48 volts. This does not cut off till about 22 volts. That is very bad for our batteries. Number two, we can set um, our, our bulk absorption and our float voltages on the other inverters we have. That is not an option here. This allows you to set your bulk and absorption to a maximum voltage, but it doesn't give you a time. The inverter determines what the time is, and for our flooded batteries, the time it determines is very poor. The final part we do not like is the maximum voltage you can set for your battery charge. On this, it's 57.4, which is unacceptable for flooded batteries and your AGM batteries we need at least 58 to 59 and to do an equalization charge we need a minimum of 60 this doesn't give you that option so it doesn't give you the option of time it doesn't give you the option of setting higher voltages to charge your battery it doesn't give you a hard cutoff for your batteries it, the cutoff is set only for your lithium is not set for your traditional uh, lead acid batteries what other pluses does it have the ability to monitor if you look down here, there is a Wi-Fi uh, stick and this gives us uh, data in, well not quite real time, every, it updates in every five minutes. So that's when, how I knew we were having issues with the batteries because I could monitor while I was in the US, I could see what was going on. That's a huge plus they give you. They also allow you to modify those parameters uh, from wherever you are, if you have the correct password that I like. So we've sent an email to uh, the technical team at Growat and mentioned some of these concerns to them. If they make a change, we'll continue to support and offer the inverter for our customers with lead acid batteries. If they do not make the change, then the only time we'll sell this inverter or offer this inverter to our customers is if we are offering the lithium battery option. So as far as we go, this gets a B minus it doesn't get an a and it will get an a plus when grow at makes the changes that we suggested they make 
So if you have any questions, please feel free to post below. If you have any suggestions of things you like to see when we do our next video on the Grow at Inverter, please also write questions below. Please share the video and give us a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed, please subscribe. Once again, this is Christopher, also known as Dr. Sola, coming to you from AWPS Renewable Energy in Lagos.